It's Wednesday, July 7th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea now with the headlines for today. South Korea has confirmed over 1,200 new cases of COVID-19 on Tuesday. This marked the second highest daily figure since the outbreak. The highest tally was seen on Christmas Day last year with 1,240 cases. Amid worries of a possible fourth wave, health authorities have decided to extend the current social distancing rules in the capital region for another week. And if the virus situation doesn't get better within the next two to three days, they will consider raising the restrictions to the highest level. The current social distancing rules in the Greater Seoul area include a ban on private gatherings of more than four people, as well as a 10 p.m. curfew on restaurants and drinking at Han River Parks. Authorities are also tightening the rules for local businesses with a one-strikeout policy. Starting this Thursday, businesses that break the antivirus measures will face up to 10 days of suspension without a first-time warning. The wife of Belgian ambassador to South Korea recently got into a fight with a street sweeper just months after she faced assault charges for slapping employees at a local clothing store. The Belgian ambassador's Chinese wife Shang Zhe Chu slapped the sweeper in the face and the man fought back. She apparently got upset after his broom had touched her. Police said both of them traded blows, but neither wanted to press charges. The wife was questioned by the police earlier this year for slapping two employees at a clothing store in Seoul. This happened when the employees asked her if she had paid for the clothes she was wearing because they were similar to the items in the store. Her case was later dropped on grounds of diplomatic immunity. The ambassador and his wife are set to go back to Belgium later this month. Director Bong Joon-ho returned to the Cannes International Film Festival as one of the special guests at the opening ceremony on Tuesday. Open. As the winner of last year's Palme d'Or with Parasite, director Bong will also speak at the Rendezvous avec event this year to talk about his works and his passion for cinema. Actor Song Kang-ho was also invited as a judge at this year's Cannes Film Festival. With that, the two main characters of Parasite were once again reunited on stage at the opening ceremony. The Cannes Film Festival was cancelled last year due to the coronavirus pandemic. It reopened this year as an in-person event after a two-month delay. And those are your top stories. For polling articles, you can go to our official website, linked down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.